Welcome to another CTV Sports presentation. CTV Sports is brought to you by St. Clair Chevy Buick GMC. We care. By Murphy Inn Restaurant and Hotel in St. Clair. By North Star Bank, North Star guiding the way. By Neiman's Family Market. By St. Clair Home Goods and Ace Hardware. And by CTV Community TV for Marine City and St. Clair. Hello, Mariner fans. Craig Zimmerman, Jesse Laboon bringing you the 2019 version of the Marine City Mariners. Started off, we've got the Mariners against the Stallions of Sterling Heights, Jesse. We'll go over the offense and defense. We'll get rolling here in about a minute. Offense starters at the end positions. Number 10, junior Mason Walker. Number five, senior Derek Landis at the tackles. Number 64, senior Tanner Mason. And number 58, senior Josh Headley. Guard positions, number 68, junior Derek Schlotman. And number 68, Devin, 63, Devin Gorniak. Center, number 72, senior Kyle Uplayer. The backfield for the Mariners, halfback. 32 senior Aaron Soph. Fullback number four, senior Nick Barunda. The flanker position, number two, senior Angelo Pizzales. And rounding out the Mariners starting offense will be the quarterback, number nine, senior Colby Walker. Uh, defensive side of the ball, we've got a, a defensive tackle position, Jaden Heslam, Trevor Knox, Leo Pastoria. Defensive end position, we've got Devin Gorniak, Josh Headley. The linebacker position, we've got Mason Walker. Next, I have his brother, Wyatt Walker. In the corner position, we've got Charles Tiger. The other corner, Derek Landis. And at the safety positions, we've got Angelo Patsalis rounding out the defensive side of the ball with Wes Uplager. Mariners won the coin toss and chose to defer for the second half. So they will be kicking to the north. Kicker for the Mariners will be number seven, Felix Cap. Mariners have their new jerseys with their orange numbers, black jerseys, white pants. Beautiful night for football here at Mariner Field. Got a game time temperature here, 79 degrees. Special thank you to our CTV crew Bruce Holiday, Paul Dingham, and Kenny Young, and Dave Shield. We are underway, 2019. Bounces at about the 17. Okay. Manners take them down around the 27 yard line. Good uh, special team coverage there to start the game off. Oh, here's another one, Jesse. We got our stallions here with numbers that are out of order. <laughs> they got to do something to keep you on your toes, Craig. Jeez. How did they list them? Quarterback. Oh, alphabetical. What's the number on the quarterback? Yeah, I'm trying to get that number. Got trips to the right, one man left, one man in the backfield. 15 is the quarterback, swing pass. To number 12, picks number up about three yards. It's like Wes Uplager coming up from that safety position to, uh, to make the tackle, keep, keep him contained, turn him back into the defense where he's got some help there inside. A Darian Gamage, the senior running back. Give him three yards, second and seven from the 30, right hash mark. Abyss along with Gamage far to the right, left side, one right, one in the backfield. Edwards, the quarterback from the shotgun, a reverse. reverse. Going around in, first down and a couple more around the 41 yard line. Pick up about 12 on the play. Angelo Patalis came up to make the tackle there. So their formation, Craig, you'll see that they'll run that 90, 95% of the time. They'll either run, you know, a, a, a slot wide out with, with two tight ends split out, or they'll run, uh, you know, trips to one side. So that's something that uh, yep, you know, they, they haven't seen last year. Like I said, there's a new, new coaching staff here for Sterling Heights. Two left shotgun, one man in the backfield, man in motion. Right up the gut, maybe a couple. It's like number 10, Walker Mason came up to make the initial hit just about at line 
the line of scrimmage is able to get uh, two, three yards out of that. Give him three on the play. Headley on the stop, second and seven from the 44. Two to the right, two to the left. Nobody in the backfield. Quarterback Chris Edwards from the gun. Pass play, caught. First down across the 50 to about the 48. Is Derek Landis in on the tackle there for the Mariners. It's a little screen pass to the far outside yep. there where you got some blockers there in front of you. Hopefully you get some yardage out of that. So they did, they were able to pick up the first down. Just south of midfield, 48 yard line, first and 10. Opening drive, no score. First possession of the night. So there's a shotgun position here, Craig. I said, yep. I, I, wouldn't be, I wouldn't be surprised you start seeing some mishandled snaps. There was just some, uh, just not, not real clean of everything that we've watched there. Man in motion. Sweep right, cross oh, the four, 45 to the 44. It's like uh, Jaden Heslip in to uh, initiate the initial stop there for the Mariners. Three or four other host Mariners there for the stop. Second and six from the 44. Two wide out to the left this time. Edwards from the gun with a single back behind him. At a slot right, probably in motion. Yep. Extra blocker left. Hand off left side, taken oh, behind nice. the line of scrimmage. Came up number two, made this tackle there. Angelo That's Pat Salas there to get him behind the line of scrimmage. Had that read all the way. Yep. Third and long nine for the Stellions. Like Aaron Sulf coming Aaron into the Sof, game. Yep. Josh Headley coming off for a play. No, I'm sorry, Knox Trevor Knox. Off, yep. yeah, Trevor Knox, 59. Trips to the near side in front of us, one far side. Edwards from the gun. Rolling right. Throws. Oh, almost picked off. Intended that time for number 12. A Darian Gamage, bring up a fourth and nine. Just threw out, just threw behind him a little yeah. bit. Yeah, that's a dangerous, dangerous throw because one, he does tip it. You know, that could end up, uh, yep. you know, six the other way. Yep. Deep for the Mariners, Petsalis along with Charles Tiger. Punter is Kaz Yunchi. Lined up at about the 41 yard line. Deep for the Mariners, lined up at about the 15. High snap over the head. Give Chase there, oh number boy. 63. <laughs> Look, did a pretty good job. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Under duress. I mean, not a lot in net yards, but. It was a good snap. It yeah. was just about 15 yards too deep. <laughs> Punted that one from what, about the 22 yard line? Yeah, he was back there a little bit. Derek Schlotman had, uh, had the coverage on the, on the punter back there, was able to give chase. Couldn't quite get there in time to maybe try to, to block it, but enough made him punt it from where he was at. Mariners will take over first and 10 from the 39-yard line for the first possession for the offense. Barunda and Sof in the backfield. So what we said last year is we had a uh, you know pretty – pretty young offensive line where this year I, I think that they uh, they definitely had some time to gel and work together last year so we'll see so one two three four five you got five uh, five seniors there on the defensive line up the gut Barunda on the carry there give him about three maybe four give him give him four second Adrian Gamage yep. on the tackle give him four on the first carry second and six Barunda comes off. Tiger split out near side, far side, Landis. Single man in the backfield. Man in motion this time, Tiger. Tiger behind the line of scrimmage, gets back, no gain.
Number 52, Eric Kaczynski uh, on the tackle. Also, who made the, uh, the good penetration in the line? Number 54. Got to find his name on here. But he, he initially made Thomas Berlucci uh, was able to drive that offensive line back and kind of interrupt that, that handoff, slow him down a little bit. But, um, yeah, he Tiger just put a hand, hand on him as he got yeah. the ball. Tiger was good to, you know, good hard run to get at least back to the line of scrimmage. So a long third down here for the Mariners on their first possession here. Land is split out near side in front of us. Two-man backfield for the Mariners. Long count. There we go. Got the five they wanted. Goes from third and six to third and one. You know, we had a nickname for that play right there, Craig. You know what it was, right? What? That was a Coach Bob special. And they, and yeah, he, and these guys well, you know, this. Over the years, yeah. when you think about sure. it, it's, it's been done like about 150 times. I mean. Yeah, yeah. You don't get it right in practice. <laughs> uh, I think he probably had either 25, 50 down-ups in front of him, one, one of the two. So, For the offense or defense? Oh, for the offense. Right, right, yeah, right. yeah, you got to – that's number one thing is right. the safe discipline on your side of the ball. Third and one. Hand off left side. Ooh, got a whole bunch. Sof carries him for about 10. Brought down by number 24 there for the Stallions. First carry of the season for Aaron Sof, the senior. He was a leading ball carrier last year as a junior. Jarvis Alaya on the tackle there for yep. the Stallions. I tell you, and Aaron looked like he hit that, that hole with pretty good speed and power, you know. Barunda back in. Landis off. Tiger First and 10 the from the 42. Walker rolling, throws, caught. Tiger inside the 30 to the 28 yard line. Adrian by, brought down by the Stallions by number 12, Adrian Gamage. It's a good route, just look like, yep. look like a little post route. Run out there, maybe take a step or two back to the ball at the play develop and uh, First step one is getting the ball and securing it, and he's able to even pick up a yard or two after the catch. From the 28-yard line, first and 10, three-man backfield for the Mariners, first time tonight. Unbalanced to the right side. Going left. Not much, so for maybe about a yard. Damage again in on the tackle. Cause. Mariner fans, if you hadn't had a chance to see, Jesse reminded me in our preseason show about the uh, final game here at, at Mariner Field. The, uh, was it triple or quadruple overtime? You double. Gotta, you double gotta, overtime. Double yeah. overtime. Got to catch the end of that. Watch CTV.org. Two to the right. Walker. Got a hold. Yeah, he just, think I, nothing think was there. He tried to step up into that pocket a little bit. Feel that that pocket collapsing on you. You just kind of kind of step up into it and trust that there's something there. Just was enough there for Colby, so he decided to tuck the ball down, just take it down to the ground. Good choice. Are they going to take the penalty or no? I don't think I would, because you give them the down over. Correct. Correct. I take a third yep, and declined. Yeah, third and fourteen. Second and 14 from the 32-yard line, opening possession for the Mariner offense. Two Mariners wide out right, unbalanced left for the line. Oh, man, intercepted. Going to be a pick six. Not the quarterback's fault. Just couldn't get to him. 51. His defensive line just got penetration there. It was just nowhere for Kobe to step up. Yeah, he had the ball. Fault. I don't know if it was you know, slight forward motion, but it popped it. up in the air, and uh, Stanley just took it back to pick six here. Nothing he could do. Uh, yeah. Stallions lead early, 6-0 on a turnover on a pick six on a third and long. They're going to 
kick an extra point, it yeah, looks Stallions like. Yeah, are waiting for their kicker in the tee here. Kicker. Kazuchi. Yep. With a kick. Snap is up good. Looks good from here. Seven zip. In a bizarre twist of 10 seconds there. Not what one was expecting. No, not the way the Mariners, <laughs> I don't think, wanted to start their first possession, but got to start somewhere. <laughs> Offensive line. Thirty-three left first quarter. The Stallions to kick to the south. Not too often that an offensive lineman gets a pick six. No. Being at the right spot at the right time. So we'll see if they kick to us. Craig, they did last year. We were down uh, their turf there, the home opener. They did kick to us, so, and I do believe we ran one back on them with the Mariners starburst. So we'll see if uh, they're going to do the same thing this year. Deep for the Mariners, Aaron Sof, Angelo Petsalis, Charles Tigert, and is it Derek Landis in the middle? I think. Squib kick, no, nope. it's Landis there. Manners will take over first and 10 right from the 30. So we'll come back out here. No return. See what the Mariners offense can muster up here in their second possession of the, of the game here. Their home opener here. Started to mention if you want to see any of the games, you can go to watchctv.org and pick the game and watch it to start. Watch it as you please. Or if you're out of town, you can watch it that way as well. First and 10 from the 30. Timeout, Stallions, 4.31 left in the first. First break in the action here for a timeout. Tonight's game here, and next week, in case you were wondering, we will be at South Lake. Again on a Thursday, correct? That is on a Friday. Oh, next week's on yep. a Friday, okay. And the following week will be home here against Hazel Park. We're at South Lake. Then Hazel, no, then we're at Hazel Park. Here we go, first and 10 for the Mariners. Back from the 30. From their 30, yeah. Man in motion going left is up leg. Barunda up the middle. Oh boy, Barunda 50, 40, 30, him. cut back. Inside to the 25, Nick Barunda. <laughs> Uh, he had a heck of a hole there to run through, and he got through there with some speed, got into that secondary, and just uh, had one person to outrun. 45-yard run for Nick Barunda gets him into good territory. The Adrian Gamage. Here's a replay. Finally catching up with Barunda. Bring him down. There he goes. He gets through there. Yeah. From the 26, first and 10, two right, two in the backfield. Walker under center, handoff left side, Sof. Give him a couple. Three, second and seven. Touchdown! Touchdown! by Jarvis Alaya for the Sterling Heights Stallions. Colby Walker, the senior quarterback, I think he's got a little beefier in the last year. He definitely uh, has something, you know, the whole team as a whole, they said, boy, you know, they've done a good job in the offseason preparing themselves, getting their bodies ready. Darius Watson in. Touchdown! Touchdown! 
Watson and Tiger in the backfield. Hand off Tiger, left side, give him a couple more down to about the 20. Bring up a third and about three. Again, Jarvis Eliza. Credited with the tackle there for the Stallions. Third, we'll call it four. The right guard Devin Gorniak comes off. You got Tiger and Watson. Watson, in the back yep. Here. Two men right. Man in motion. Watson didn't get far. Back maybe uh, got a couple. Can pick up a fourth and about a yard. Watson, you watch that. He, that kid breaks the corner. We talked about him last year, Craig. He breaks that corner. I don't think there's too many people out on that field that could catch him. He's got to get outside. Fourth and two, they're saying. You can do a long count. Try it again. You do have the wind at your back. They have a new kicker there for Marine City this year. Full house backfield. Watson, the deep man. None of movement that time. <laughs> Deep man. Oh, yes, he's got a couple still going. Watson inside Watson the 10 to about the 6. There is Watson, the junior, number 42. It's a good hole by the offensive yeah. line there to open up for that. Uh, you know, they were kind of bunched up, not too many, no, no wide people. Replay. It's a good execution by the offensive line there. Get that spot open, give him some, give him some room to run. Yeah, nice job. He had the first down by then, my first contact. Ball spotted right at the seven-yard line, first and goal from the seven. Mason Walker did a good job coming out of the backfield, you know, making that initial hit, making that, that hole there for Watson. Left side, Watson, Watson again. again. Inside to about the five, give him two on that one. Brought down again by Jervis. Aliyah, number 24 there for Sterling Heights, Stallions. Mariners here looking to get in the end zone there for the first time this year. Watson comes off. Quick one. No idea. Sof is in the end zone. Touchdown. There you go, Aaron Sof from seven yards out. Senior scores the first touchdown of the year. Felix Cap, the junior, for the point after. Holder is Angela Pizzalis. Boom, looks good from here. Plenty of leg. Yeah. Tied up at seven, minute 10 left in the first. Mariners the kick. kick like from Mariner Field, you're watching CTV6, Marine City St. Clair. That's a good kick, Craig. Yeah, really. That's nice one kick. of the longest extra points I've seen here in a while. One bounce went to the fence, so. I watch him in pregame. He's got some leg. Let's replay the kick. Slow motion. Good. Decent end yeah. over end rotation. Get some distance. Not too much left to right. A little breeze behind you, but I don't think enough breeze that would negate somebody saying you don't have a leg. Right, right. did pretty good. Cap here to kick off for the Mariners. Elia in Gamage deep for the Stellions. High and fairly deep. Oh, oh yeah, head. into the end zone. Yeah. There you go. Another thing you haven't seen in a while. Yeah, we haven't seen that in a while. A little tailwind, but yeah, that's great. First and 10 from the 20. Replay of the kick. 
Looked deep, but I didn't think it was going to go that far. Stallions take over first and 10 from the 20. Minute 10 left first quarter. Ty scored at seven apiece. This is only the Stallions' second offensive possession of the game, right? Yes. Yeah. From the shotgun, Chris Edwards, 15, quarterback. Handoff, sweep left. Stutter step. Loss of a yard. Good job by number five, yeah. Derek Landis, coming up to initially stop the, uh, the momentum he had. Kept him turned inside. Nico Before Johnson. Came over there, finish up the tackle. Johnson on the carry, bring up second and 11. He stutter stepped a couple times because he saw him. Yeah, he I wasn't sure there. if I should head up field or try to make it the, by the sideline, but they were able to do a good job turning him back inside. Second 11 from the 19, final minute, first quarter. Noah Abisko's far side, near side. Yunchi from the shotgun. Edwards rolling left, throwing deep, deep. Picked it's off. Good. Is that Angelo Pizalis? Yes, it is. Number two, yeah. Nice position. Timed it perfect. Well, I tell you, number 13, I got to see here, uh, Jaden Heslop come back and just as replay. that quarterback was thrown it. He, he Problem gave, is, you're going to gave him a, a, a hit that, you know, he's going to be a little hesitant to drop back and throw that ball anymore. Watch just it. as he, boom. Yep. I think you throw this up 10 times, Angelo's going to pick about seven of them. I think so, he too. He had plenty of time to get there. And that quarterback waited to the last second yep. until the throw, and he paid the price for it, too. And it got intercepted. Second turnover of the night. One for the Stallions, one for the Mariners. Mariners will take over first and 10 from the 44 with 28.6 seconds first quarter. Craig Zimmerman, Jesse Laboon, game of the week. That's just good base, good placement when they throw that ball up like that. You know, just the inside of that defender or that offensive yeah. person and uh, just go up. It's anybody's ball at that point. Two wideouts in front of us, near side. Hand off left side. Defensive line doing an excellent job. Barunda stopped at the line of scrimmage. Not much of a gain. In fact, maybe loss of a yard there for the Mariners on that first down. They're saying he gained a couple feet. Oh, yeah. Just in front of it. Ball spotted at the 44-yard line. Won't have far to go. End of one, 7-7. Seven, seven. Game of the week. Headed to quarter number two. In past years, it's been high school football one week, then college opened up the following week, then the pros the following. But this year, college... For the, they opened one game last week, but the rest of everybody else this weekend. Time for a commercial break from our sponsors. St. Clair's Ace Hardware in the Riverview Plaza is now open seven days a week for your shopping needs. Everything you need from auto supplies, wiring, paint, craftsman tools, St. Clair's Ace Hardware has picnic items, a complete gift department with candles and more. Don't miss the specials on Valspar paint. St. Clair's Ace Hardware in the Riverview Plaza. Near side, Petsalis, 40, going. 35, going. 30. Still going down to about the 20 yard line. Angelo Petsalis finally taken down by Noah Abyss. Well, he just had one hand on his shoulder pad. Yeah. just couldn't get through him, but he definitely had enough speed to outrun him if he'd just been able to get past him. Beautiful handoff on that reverse handoff. First from the 21-yard line. Got to watch some of these names. We got, we got Mason Walker, then we've got uh, Tanner Mason. Tanner Mason. Uh -huh. That was one that got me last year. <laughs> right. 
full house backfield for the Mariners. Long count for Colby Walker. Oh, Left hit. side, Patsalis Patsalis is going to score from 21 yards out. Angelo Petzal has picked up about 66 yards on two carries. And now Mariners he, he on top. Two, two would-be tacklers there, you know, just yeah. kept them legs driving. One there. There's one there. Maybe an arm yeah. or something, but uh, a great run there. Mayor's on top, 13-7 point after for Felix Cap. Snap is good, hold looks good. 14-7, Mariners on top. Opening minute, second quarter. Another good kick there by uh, Cap, the extra point. There's something, there's a, there's a special teams asset that can come into play yeah. throughout the year, you know. You are within the 20, 25, and you just don't think you get there. Man, if you could put three points on the board, sometimes that's Ooh, yeah. huge. Now, not only does it put points on the board, but it all, I think that's kind of a momentum swing, too. You either come, you come out and get stopped in the fourth down and give the ball back to them, or you put three points on the board. Uh, to me, I mean, if you're battling like that, that's a win. You can, anytime you put points on the board. There's a look at uh, Big Dog Media there, <laughs> and then the, the other 45 people from Sterling Heights. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful night on a Thursday night, 79 degrees start time, down to 75. It may go down to 72, and that's pretty much picture-perfect football weather. Cap the kick. What do you think, Craig? Think putting it in the end zone from this side? The wind has slowed kick, a little kicks bit. Kicks it anything like the last time? I bet you. Will. I'm picking the five-yard line. Hey, good kick. Oh. Good kick. You're right about the ten. About the ten, yeah. Side step one tackle, number 28 on the reception See, there. See, when you, when you look at that, if you can get it in the end zone, look at the difference. Nico Johnson on the return there for the Stallions. Up to the 35. First and 10 from the 35 yard line for the Stallions. Timeout Stallions, 11-14 remaining in the half. First and 10 from the 35. So speaking with some former players here, Craig, do you remember the first year of the China Bowl here? Yes. Any idea, remember kind of what around it was? Do I remember what? What year? Um, what year for the new stadium here? or yeah. the new turf? New, new stadium. Because it originally started here with grass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which was terrible for <laughs> Yeah, you got you got two high school football teams. It was They're a just, swamp. Yeah, they just not only did it not drain well. Well this literally was a swamp like right. forty years ago. And then yeah, it was just so eight eighty eight is what I was told. Eighty eight. Okay. Um I, I know and I know this because I was speaking with Dave Walker before the game. He's like, I was on here the first play, he says, as a tenth grader, brand new stadium, he goes, you know, you can just imagine the, the jitters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can I can remember certain games like I can remember the Marysville game when it was a quagmire down inside the twenty. Uh, they fumbled like at about the three yard line or something. We had a first down and huh. went on to beat them. First and ten from the thirty five yard line. Edwards looking to throw, scrambling, picks up about five on the play, up to the forty. Yeah, I think it was that. I think it was a playoff game against Marysville that we won, but it was just a mud fest, and I think that was like the nail in the coffin as far as getting turf. Yeah. So this is the second turf field they've yes. had here, right? They yep. replaced it what two years ago, I think. Yep. This I think will be the third year played on it. Yep. So Wyatt Walker coming up to make that hit there for the Mariners. Going to give him six, second and four from the 41-yard line. Chris Edwards. Picking up six on a broken play. Got 
Trips to the right, single man to the left. One man backfield with Edwards from the shotgun. Hand off, no, keeper. Got a first down and then some across midfield to about the 46 yard line. Tigert there to trip him up initially. Help with Wyatt Walker to bring on the quarterback. Nathan Miller checking in along with Devin Gorniak. Here's a replay. Keeper. First and 10 from the 46. 88 and three to the far side. 12 and 21 to the near side. Now they switch. Trips to the right. Nobody in the backfield. Edwards all by himself. Four receivers. Bring the house. Caught behind the line of scrimmage. Picks up about five on the play. Well done by Wes Uplager. Like, um, Headley was out there to help also. Got rid of it just in time. Yeah, they basically offensive line just let, the, you know, let those three guys go. We're, yeah. you know, it's going to be such a quick developing play that we don't need to block them. Second and four from the 40. The idea there is to get those linemen after the pass is complete, get those linemen downfield. And uh, had he got a little bit more distance, he probably would have made a cross cut to more towards the middle of the field. You get those additional blo blockers for you downfield. Trips right to left. Edwards once again by himself in the backfield. Second and four from the 40. Pass play, caught, no, yes, caught. Oh, they ran into him, you yeah. gotta wrap him up. First down inside the 25 to the 23. That three Mariners put pretty good shots on it, but uh, yeah. nobody, nobody wrapping him up. He was just able to bounce off and get another six, eight yards out of it. Replay, watch. I thought he was down, I thought he was gonna be taken down on the one hit. Bobbled the catch Bobbled a little it. bit. Right there. <laughs> First and 10 from the 23 yard line. Stallions knocking on the door here. Edwards in the backfield with Gamage to the left of him. Time, Time out here. Stallions, 8.04 left in the half. You're watching CTV Game of the Week. Marine City against the Stallions of Sterling Heights. Stallions using their final timeout for the half there. Marine City still has all three remaining of theirs. Eight minutes left in the second quarter here. Scores 14 Mariners, Sterling Heights, Stallions, seven. Give you an idea of the uh, you know the size of the Mariner team as far as numbers number num numbers of kids is down mainly because the school is down. The enrollment number this year is 521, and that's according to last spring's count. Um, if you look back to the 2007-89, we're 803-810. Last year that they have here in the in the fives was 1985 at 596. So we're smaller Just dwindles, than that. dwindles from there. Yep. Sterling Heights, I think we talked about on the on the preseason show. They're in uh, high 14s, low yep. 15s. First and 10 from the 23. Man in motion. Going right. Far side, number 12. Not much. Maybe a yard. No, going to end up with a loss of yards. Nice. Wes Uplager came yep. up there, made the initial contact right about the line of scrimmage. Just tied him up with the leg and let the rest of the Mariners come in and finish the job. Landis and Barunda come in. Watch the replay. It looked like he was going to turn the corner and turn it up. Wes just got outside of him. Said him stuttering didn't help himself either. No. And again, Wes is just trying to beat him yep. to, the, to the outside. Don't let yep. that guy get around. Turn him inside where you got some help. Going to give him a yard, second and nine from the 22. Abyss near side 
from the shotgun Edwards, man in motion. Looking pass, caught. Tight end. It's going to be taken out of bounds inside the 10. It'll be first and goal for the Stallions. Anthony Retzel came up to make the tackle. Just got a piece of his foot, stutter him up, bring him to the ground. First and goal on the eight, they're saying. There's a opportunity for a goal line stance here for yep. the uh, Mariner defense. Two right, one left. Got a tight end on the right side, single man in the backfield. Keeper, Keeper up, up the, middle. the middle, nice, nice. trip up. Jaden Heslop comes yeah. up, get a, foot, get a hand on his foot. Stopped him from going anywhere. Gave him a yard probably. That's just a good read by Jaden coming up, realizing that there wasn't a, a handoff and just come up and get reading that quarterback. Mason Tanner, Trevor Knox, the big guys in there for defensive line. Six and 30 left in the half, second and goal from the seven for the Stellians. Abisco's far side. Trips to the right. From the shotgun again. Keeper. Again. There we go, there we go. Nice. Behind the line of scrimmage at about the 12-yard line. Bring up. With Derek replay. Schlottman there on for the initial contact for the Mariners. Looked like a draw. Well, then you got three or four other black jerseys yeah. bearing down on you. At that point, Craig, I think you're just hoping gravity takes over. Like, get me right. on the ground before these, these three yeah. uh, unleash some punishment on me. Third and goal from the 12. Two to the right. Tight end up to the left. Edwards lined up at about the 17. Fumble. Uh-oh. Boy. Balls on it back at the 25. Not the time if you're the offense where you want to have an errant snap. Nope. That, and I think you're going to see more and more of that. First and goal the from game. the seven. They end up at the 25-yard line. Wow. Whether it be bad timing or fatigue or whatever. I mean, that's yeah. that's something that, you know, we've we've seen the last couple weeks. Fourth and goal from the 25. You're sort of in no man's land here. You don't punt. You got to get a touchdown. Even if they do throw a lob pass up <laughs> towards the goal line, if you're, you know, you just got to be smart, dark, smart defensive here. You bat it right. down. There's no reason to catch it back there. Except you get, you get a little wary to see anything close to the end zone. <laughs> Trips to the right. Oh boy, here we go from the 25-yard line. Little prevent defense here for the Mariners. It looks like. Edwards. Well, Head Headley. No. Nice. No. Headley got a good read on the outside yep. of there, and Heslop just opened it, opened the door for Jaden to come in and put some pressure on that quarterback. The Mar quarterback yep. tried to make a little underhand toss, didn't work out in their favor. Mariner defense doing a nice job from a second, from a first and goal from the seven. Yeah, Headley almost got that inside shoulder dipped around there. I By almost wondered about the way he up. threw it. He threw it almost underhand. Right. First and goal from the Mariners from the or first first and ten from the twenty five yard line. Defense has been strong all night for the first half here. Bending and not breaking. Yeah. Colby Walker under center, three man backfield. First man through. That is Tiger. Picks up about five on the play, two with the 30. Second and five. Frank Popeye on the tackle there for the Stallions. Popeye? Popeye. <laughs> Almost said Popeye. Yeah. Second, 
Second and five from the 30, three and 44 left in the half. Mariners still have their three timeouts. Full house backfield. Pass play, throws, caught by Pitsalis, 40, 45, 50, Angelo, get going. 40, 35, 30, 25, still going, 20, Angelo Pitsalis from 70 yards out. And no yellow flags down. That was good. Yeah, that's, a, that's a highlight maker there. Um, nice. You watch this. If, if this wasn't an audible, it might have been a, a, a play, but you can kind of see where he, he flares out there and you got both defensive nice ends patience. kind of inside. Good job by Colby Walker, caught. Evades, this number 12 had a beat on him. Got away. Angela Pizzalis with a big offensive night so far. Mariners up 27 and Felix Cap looking to make it 21. Boom, 21-7, Mariners on top. The Good. only flaw in the first half was the uh, offensive line letting him in there and getting the pick six. Yeah, just a tip ball. Kobe was trying to get it away and just one of those things just doesn't work out, gets it up in the air and gives that defender a chance to grab it. And that's exactly what they did. They took it down to the end zone for six points. Sun's starting to set here, Craig. Yep. Gonna go cool off, still a little breeze, just well, it's nice to be back here. Yeah, where in the heck did this time go, huh? End of August here. Got uh, kind of a special introduction here, I think, at halftime. I think they're going to induct, what, the 2007 team into the... No, 2011. 2011, okay. State runner-up, along with Anthony Scarcelli. It's an individual, correct? Was there one other one? Sorry, I don't have the paper with me. I don't know. I can see the schedule here. Yell down to Fred. <laughs> Cap to kick off from the 40. Deep again. Down to the seven. Oh, he's got a hole there. Yeah, he does. Up to the 38-yard line, 39-yard line. Gamage on the return. I don't need that. Somebody slow getting up there for the Mariners. The 42 Watson seems to be all right now. First and 10. Why are they spotting the ball up at the 43? Weren't they? He was down at the 39, huh? First and 10 from the 43, they say. 3.05 remaining in the half. Craig Zimmerman, Jesse Laboon, game of the week here. 21 7, Mariners on top just before the half. Edwards from the shotgun with a single back behind him. Hand off right there. Yep. Still moving, but didn't go anywhere. Yeah, 68 had some initial contact there. Derek Schlotman had him a couple yards behind the line of scrimmage. Just lost his grip on him. Schlotman, give him credit. Do you remember the last play of the game last year against Sterling Heights, Craig? Schlotman was in there, and uh, of course they held him to only a field goal last year, but they had, I'm gonna say it was right around a 75, 80 yard run, and Schlotman came from the other side of the field and caught up with him right around, right around the three or four yard line, <laughs> knocked him out of bounds to, to save that touchdown. <laughs> and uh, that's how he ended the game last year, but. Second and 10 from the 43, trips to the right, two to the left. Edwards by himself from the shotgun, throws it, caught up to about midfield in the 50-yard line. Wyatt Walker on the tackle there for the Marine City Mariner defense. Yunchi on the reception. 
Timeout, Marine City 204 left. Mirrors using that timeout to see if they can stop him here, force a punt, get the ball back. Yeah, give yourself a minute, minute 30. Yep. Good opportunity to run your, uh, your two-minute um, two offense there as a in, team. In case the Mariner fans were wondering, the Marine City Mariners JV beat Clintondale last, uh, not, not last night, Tuesday night, 49-20. Uh, impressive game. Uh, Mariners scored a touchdown with just about time running out in the half, almost like a one-minute drill. Yeah, I was here Did just it? dropping off my son for the you know for the game, and uh, it was halftime. It was 12 to 14. Yeah. Thought, oh, that's a pretty close game yep. there. Third and four from the 49. From the shotgun with nobody in the backfield, so likely a pass play. Unless you hand it off there. Yep, 12 <laughs> handoff, far side. Behind the line of oh, scrimmage. He's going oh boy. They're going to whistle the ball dead. <laughs> right about a 40. Clock will stop. 41. Loss of about 10 on the play. He did too. They had him running the wrong direction. Oh, they only lost. They only lost five on the play? Headley had him wrapped up, and he had three or four other Mariners just coming to give him help from behind. They took a timeout? Yep, looks like okay. they did. Minute 58, it'll be a fourth and ten. Fourth and nine, I guess. Pretty close. No, they're saying fourth and ten. Mariners will get the ball back, hopefully here, with a punt. Just under two minutes remaining in the half. Again, keep an eye on the snap there. We know we can get it to the punter. Yeah. Tiger deep for the Mariners lined up at about the 25-yard line. Pat Sal's going to join them back there. Punter lined up. He'll punt from about 32. Wind at his back, so I expect a pretty good punt here. Good snap that time. Oh, yeah. Tiger on the run. Near side. Up the near side. Ooh, up, got a good block. 40, 45, 50. Stutter step. Got a blocker. Cut back. Staying in bounds. 30. Cut Keep back going. again. Charles Tiger inside the 25 to the 23. That's a highlight maker right there. Yeah, good job to sidestep that sideline. Walk yeah. the rope right down there. Had a couple of blockers down there for him. Wow, that was a nice, that was a nice, nice, nice extend run. That run, stay in bounds. Yep. Some nice blocking by the Mariners special teams as well. Pretty Still decent punt. Tiger was able to get it on the run. Started make, at the didn't make 25, the exchange, but that's the way it's going. Comes up, so he started off at number five, doing it very, very smart there. Number five, Derek Landis. Right you know there. how nice how easy. Cut. Would it be to hit that, that initial guy in the back, oh, and, it's, and it's not needed. Yeah. He's able to keep his hands off him, realize what's going on, and that happens all too often. You get a good return, and somebody, you know, outside of the play makes a clipping call. and About a 55-yard return. Pass play, caught. Petsalis inside. He's going to score again. Angelo Petsalis, a minute 37 left, makes it 27-7. to seven. Made it look pretty easy there. Sure did. Just a little little flare pass. Get outside that you outside You got a couple defender. blockers there. They do a good job. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Angelo Pizzalis from, what did we say, how many yards out? 28 yards. 28 yards. Angela Petzales to hold. Felix Cap to kick. Snap is good. Kick is good. 28 to 7. Mariners on top. With the Mariner defense pitching a shutout so far. Minute 37. What'd that take, Jesse? About. Well, we didn't get it much. Well, yeah. I think 15. a minute 58 was when they punted. 20, 30 seconds. 21 first, seconds. First play. Yeah. First play from the line of scrimmage. He had a, a good return set up <laughs> by Tiger's, Tiger's good yeah. return. And one pass play, you're in the end zone. Still have one timeout. <laughs> yeah, we sure do. <laughs> so 
far side of the track. Is it raining out? The, I think it's raining out. Is it? Is everybody getting st oh yeah, it is a little bit. A cloud cover to the north, but I didn't know anything for showers was expected. Cap to kick. Right Low down kick. the middle. Right. Caught it about the 12 yard line. Taken down behind the 30 yeah, to about four the 28. There. Nick Verunda there had initial contact with him. <laughs> it's a great tackle, Nick. Good job. <laughs> It's like quite a storm there to the north of us, Craig. We may get some of it here. Replay. Nick doing a good job as you know, well as the rest Nick of the Marunda's Marin City. one of those kids that, if you remember years ago, Nick was a uh, water boy for a number of years. Yeah, he sure was. If, if you want to say he might have been, you know, in his t early teens, undersized. Kid has worked hard and plays just about every down here in varsity last year yeah. and this year. Not the tallest kid, but he, right. you know, and he works hard in the offseason yeah. too. I know he's part of the he's power lifting He's bulkier as well. Right? Yeah, just a strong kid. Minute 30 remaining in the half. Single man in the backfield, Edwards from the shotgun. Hand off, left side. Still going. Keep him in bounds. On there. Nah. Number 28 on the carry there. Nathan Miller in for the Mariners. Number 22, Nathan, is a sophomore. First and 10 from the 43, with a minute 22 left in the half. 28-7, Mariners on top. Trips near side. Edwards throws. Caught. Pick about five on the play. Clock yeah, will move. Adrian Gamage on a reception there for the Stallions. Again, the Stallions, no way to stop the clock. No out of timeouts, and they were stayed inbounds. So the clock continues to run. Pitch play coming in our side. Pick up maybe a yard. Wow, up legger. Yeah. It's like Mason Walker, Headley, all three of them in on that tackle. They lost a couple yards on that one. It's like the Mariners are going to burn their last time out <laughs> here with 53 seconds left. Can't do anything with them. No, you can't. <laughs> and if you're if you're you the Stallions, you know you've got a long seven yards to go. So do you try a pass? Because the running game, right? It's been so so. <laughs> Only problem with with trying a pass is it's incomplete. You stop the clock. Right. Well, now you got to punt it back to Marine City. Opening night, 2019 season. Ball lined up right in front of us at the 47-yard line, near side hash mark. Trips to the right, one man left. Single man in the backfield. Chris Edwards, the quarterback. Keeper, nowhere. Not much. They're going to try to run it down as far as they can, then punt. We got 25 seconds. I'm not sure what the play clock in high school is anymore. Yeah. They might even, who knows, they'll take a penalty. Yeah, you could do that too. Yeah, what's extra 10 yards, huh? Well, I don't know, though. I think I would just punt it because then at least the clock continues to run the whole time because the play takes, you know, three, four seconds. Then the punt takes another 10. 
eight tenths. It must be thirty five seconds because there was about thirty six. seven, thirty six seconds yeah. left around the plate. Eight on the tenths, so we're gonna have to return it. <laughs> So it'll be fourth and 12 with eight seconds left. I'm saying two. <laughs> this ain't Bill's first rodeo down there. <laughs> it's good he's got a cheat sheet, how to work that uh, highly technical. <laughs> I don't think it really matters if it's two or one or <laughs> <laughs> Does it really? You know what I mean? Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Final play of the half. Miners on top, 28-7. No, they're gonna they're gonna try to go for a play, go to the end zone. It's gonna be a pick here, maybe. Yeah, it sure is. Got we'll end down. the half at 28-7. Jesse will go over the score and we'll go into halftime. Yeah. So Sterling Heights Stallion started off the score. Devin Davis had a at 4:30 had a 40-yard yard run. A pick six on uh, the defense started off. Stallion seven, Marine City zero. Then Soap with 110 left in the first quarter had a six-yard touchdown run. Cap added the extra point, resulted in a 7-7 sco seven -seven score at the, end of, at the end of one. In the second quarter, Pat Sells had a 22-yard run. Cap again added an extra point, 14-7 Mariners. Pat Sells had another score, 75-yard run at 312 left in the second quarter. Uh, Cap again added the extra point, 21-7. And then with just a minute 30 left in the Second quarter, Pat Sells had another 28, had a 28 yard pass for a touchdown. Cap again added the extra point, 28 7. So that ends up the score at halftime here. Uh, Marine City home opener, 28. Sterling Heights Stallion, 7. 